G'day everyone. <laughs> Look what I've got here, a big black battery. Whoa. Anyway, I'm Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab. And today in the lab, I'm looking at the Fault Go 400 amp hour 12 volt battery. Now, this is one heavy mother. I think about 40 kilograms, so it took two of us to get it on the table. But once you've got it installed, you've got one awesome battery here. I mean, just look at this thing. Uh, it's made of really indestructible plastic. In fact, this damn thing's waterproof. It's got comms ports. It's got an on and off button. Uh, it's got some features inside that I'm gonna tell you about, which are really quite unique from my experience for what's probably aimed more at the uh, recreational market, you know, boating, camping, RVs, etc. You could even run a house off this thing. 400 amp hours at 12 volts is a reasonable amount of storage. But if that's not enough, you can parallel more of these together. And so you actually build quite a big capacity. But normally I'm really against paralleling. Um, one of the problems with paralleling is that you end up having uh, an imbalance between batteries that are paralleled. But this actually has a comms link that goes between the batteries, which aids in that balancing process. So it's a kind of smart lithium ion battery. Yep, it's lithium ion, even though it's quite heavy. Um, for 400 amp hours, this would be massive if it was lead acid. So um, what am I telling you this about? Because I'm excited by this company, uh, Volt Go. This is probably one of the, the best presented uh, RV batteries that I've come across yet. I mean, these handles here, if you look carefully, there's screws on the side, they can be unbolted, they can be flipped around, attached at the bottom here, and then they can be used for anchoring to a deck. Now you can buy extra ones of these, uh, so you can mount it in four places, you can still have handles, it's got a lot of um, uh, screw points. In fact, almost every side of it has got, like on the back here, it's got nine. On the side here, it's got, oh, lose count, 16 or something. It's got an enormous amount of points that you can screw things to, whether it's to secure them or to attach it to another battery so that they're a, a monoblock all linked together. So let me tell you a bit about the features in this Volt Go battery. Number one, it's IP65. You can spray it from 360 degrees uh, with high pressure water and this will not be compromised. So it's fully IP rated. See, it's even got these caps on here uh, so you can take these off to, to access uh, the comms ports. Now something that I found that's pretty unique is that this battery can cope with really cold conditions. Yeah, that's right. Normally lithium ion batteries don't like to be charged when they're cold. But what this battery does is use the input charge initially to heat the battery up. So it's got some heating pads inside that warm the cells up so that they can accept charge more readily. So as long as you've got renewable energy input, uh, or input of some form uh, to charge the battery, it will warm the battery as a preconditioning. Now preconditioning for those who own electric vehicles is not that uncommon. If you're gonna to go to a, a Tesla supercharger, you discover that your car is preconditioning your batteries and warming them up. Well, the VoltGo does the same thing. It will precondition the battery to optimize its temperature for charging, particularly when it comes to cold temperatures. Now, point number two, I said that this battery can be connected in parallel with other VoltGo batteries. Parallel means it's still a 12 volt system, but your capacity increases. So you've got a 400 amp hour, you add two of them, you've now got 12 volts, 800 amp hours of capacity. And if you wanna know what that is in kilowatt hours, you just multiply the two together, uh, or say actually watt hours. Why don't I do it for you? So this battery is a nominal 12 volt. It's probably a bit higher than that being a lithium. Anyway, if you wanna calculate the uh, capacity in watt hours or kilowatt hours, a little bit of maths, taking you back to the days when you used a calculator uh, to work out stuff. So let's say it's at 12 volts and it's a 400 amp hour battery. So 12 times 400, that's how many watt hours this battery's capacity is, its total capacity, 4,800 watt hours. If you wanna convert that to kilowatt hours, that's right, we divide it by 1,000. So we divide by 1,000 to go from watt hours to kilowatt hours. So this is a 4.8 kilowatt hour battery. Whoa, I mean, two or three of these would run a house. Yeah, pretty impressive, eh? Okay, so let's look at the specs on the side of this unit. Now, I just took a photograph so I could read them off to you. Uh, the operational voltage range is from 10 to 14 volts. The maximum charge voltage is 14 volts, plus or minus 0.2 of a volt. 
the maximum charging current is an enormous 200 amps. <laughs> wow. Woohoo. And the maximum discharging current is 250 amps. Now, those are maximums, right? But the recommended charging current is about 120 amps or a little bit less. That's going to give you the best life span out of this battery. The charging temperature range is from minus 20 to positive 45 degrees. Remember, at minus 20, it's going to be using some of your renewable energy or your charging energy, I should say, to warm up the battery using the pads. It's got little heat pads inside. And for discharging, it'll discharge at even higher temperatures. So from minus 20 to positive 55 degrees Celsius, it, it'll work pretty much anywhere on planet Earth, uh, as long as it's got a bit of ventilation around it. Don't put it in a metal box in the sun. Isn't that called a car? Yeah, you probably want a ventilated location for your battery. Feature number four is uh, passive balancing. Now, what is passive balancing? Generally, that means that a battery system uh, will have a management control board or a BMS, a battery management system. And that BMS has actually got connections onto all the cells inside the battery itself. Uh, so inside here are some very large cells. They, uh, I think these are prismatic 420 amp hour prismatics, I think, that from memory. Uh, and there's probably about four or so of those in there because they're 3.2 volts each no normally. Um, if you're wondering what a prismatic cell is, actually I've got a small one on the shelf here. I'll just grab it for you. Now this is a, a generic prismatic cell from another company, but they look very similar. Uh, this is only a, gee, I'm just trying to remember. I think this is a 100 amp hour uh, prismatic. Uh, so inside here is some massive ones of these, uh, one, two, three, four connected in series. Now going back to the BMS, the BMS, the battery management system, is connected to each one of those prismatic cells internally and can actually do what's called balancing. That means if there's any manufacturing variations, like you know one cell has a slightly lower impedance than another, it will charge a little bit faster and reach its target voltage a little bit quicker. So the BMS is actually going to uh, even that out by um, a little bit of uh, slow and fast charging of those cells towards the end of their charge cycle. So it basically controls them all so they all reach the same target eventually. And that's called passive balancing. Now, when you connect multiple of these together, the passive balancing is only done on a per battery basis. Uh, this battery doesn't try and balance the next one, but it achieves the same outcome. The BMS looks after each battery module and the battery modules can be parallel together on a common DC bus. Now let's talk about feature number five. Feature number five is the comms. Now you probably saw here uh, is some, geez, so hard to get off because they are IP65. Inside here is the ability to link these to another battery module, but also to an external charge control device. Now, uh, one that's been tested with these is the Victron Serbo GX. Victron, probably one of the most popular uh, off-grid and RV market uh, inverters and charge controllers there are, works with this battery. So the comms are compatible. And feature number nine, I've kind of already mentioned it. These. Um, handles here are actually removable and they can be both um, base locks or back locks depending on how you want to attach this to uh, the equipment or the uh, if you're in a mobile vehicle for instance you don't want this rattling around inside your vehicle. So these can be taken off and put uh, as back mounts or side mounts uh, and base mounts uh, to secure this unit in place. Basically it's a 12 volt lithium ferrophosphate chemistry inside here, 400 amp hour battery. Whoa, I'm excited. <laughs>